Hello, I am Julian Eflis. This is my extra credit for um, <clears throat> Ovid's Metamorphosis Sees um, retelling. I did the uh, story from Book Ten, Pygmalion, and it was a really disturbing story about a girl who wants to do gross things to her father. So, okay. Um, her name is Murha. Here she is. And she's all freaking out because <clears throat> she's got these horrible thoughts about having sex with her dad and she's like if the bulls can do it why can't I do it and then she's all like I'm sick and if I can't have him I don't want to live so she tries to hang herself so she's there and she's like I can't kill myself because I can't be with my daddy and then her nursemaid hears her this is the nursemaid and She's like, I think I should find out what's going on with the little one. And then she's like, what's wrong, child? And Myrna's like, I can't tell you. It's, it's evil. It's gross. I can't say it. She's like, well, I'll tell. I'm going to tell on you. If you don't tell me why you try and kill yourself, I'll fix it. I'll help you. It's love, ain't it? Who do you love? Who you want to be with? Who? And... Myrna's finally like, it's my daddy. I want to do gross things to my daddy. So the nurse maid's like, oh my god. I'll take care of this child. So like a few days later, she finds Myrna's father. Uh, his name is Sinros. And he's all drunk. He's like, hey nurse maid. She's like, hey, I know a girl. She young, like your daughter's age. And she loves you. <coughs> she wants to do things with you at night. And he's like, okay, how about tonight? I can do that. And she's like, all right, at midnight, go into a very dark place and don't turn on the light. And the dad's, he's like, whatever, fine, I'm going to get some, even though I got a, a loving wife and things. So the nursemaid goes to Murha and she's like, it's going to happen. And Murha's like, I don't know if I can do this. That's my daddy. She's like, you can do it. I went through all the trouble. It's going to be dark. So Marha, she's like walking down the road. She's like, I'm going to do my daddy. And then he can't see her because it's dark. And he's like, no worries. I'll take care of you, daughter. Like, he didn't know, but he knew. So, you know, they get together. And she gets pregnant, like that night, with his seed. And this goes on in the cloak of darkness for months <laughs> until one day the dad's like I should know who my lover is and he brings a light and he's like oh my god is you and then he takes out his sword I don't have a sword he takes out his sword and he's like I'm going to kill you. You're crazy. I had sex with you. You're my daughter. And Murha's like, oh, no, no. So she runs and ends up in the forest. And her metamorphosis is she starts to turn into a tree, you know, because she, she tried to take possession of something that was not hers, that she loved or lusted over very much. So, of course she had to metamorphosize so she becomes a tree and then she bends over in her tree state cracks open her trunk and her baby comes out and he's all beautiful I forgot about a baby <clears throat> but the baby will also be played by Chris Min baby comes out and he's all beautiful he looks like a cherub and Myrna's a tree, so she can't do anything. So she just stares at him. And the nursemaid, which is also the baby because of lack of toys, 
takes care of him, but Myrna cannot ever touch him. And that's the sad sadness of it all. The baby will be played by this giant bank. So, that's the baby. The nursemaid takes care of it. And tree Myrna cannot do anything but stand there as a tree and not touch her beautiful, beautiful baby. So, that in short is my retelling of Ovid's Metamorphoses, book 10. Thank you.